In this section, we'll explore the Total Lift Bed Wired Handset Pendant. These handy controls bring added features and convenience, some of which can't be accessed from the bed frame control pads. These exclusive controls include chair position, foot lifter, caster, Trendelenburg, and tilt controls. You'll find the top of the Total Lift Bed Hand Pendant features a layout that mimics the look and feel of the bed rail control pads making it easy to learn and operate. These two buttons allow you to raise and lower the patient's head and upper body. Use these hand pendant controls to raise or lower the patient's lower body. These buttons raise and lower the entire bed. The CPR flat button immediately lowers the bed to perform this emergency procedure. As mentioned before, to perform CPR, you will also need to deflate the mattress by turning the red CPR valve until the arrow aligns to the open marker, which allows air to escape quickly. To enable progressive upright positioning, you will first need to unlock the bed. Simply press and hold both the CPR flat button and this upright button shown here at the same time until you hear two beeps. For safety reasons, the bed will automatically lock after 90 seconds of inactivity. If the bed has been automatically locked, you will need to unlock it again to tilt to a higher angle. Unlocking it is not required to lower the bed. In addition, enabling the CPR mode automatically unlocks the bed and takes it to an ideal horizontal position, no matter what the current tilt or elevation. Just press the CPR button to lower the bed from any position to a flat CPR position. Next, it's vital to secure the patient before tilting the bed to an upright position. The Total Lift Bed features a very strong and stable strapping system. Ideally, the straps should be placed securely across three areas, chest, hips, and either at or slightly below the knees. Please note that these are general recommendations. The strapping system is modular and should be used according to the patient's condition as well as any specific instructions given by an authorized clinician. For patients with weak lower extremities, it is recommended to use the strapping system with the supervision of a caregiver to avoid any risk of rolling out of bed, knee buckling, and falling when in the upright position. Patients should always be supervised by a caregiver when using the tilt function. Once properly strapped in, the patient is ready to be moved into an upright position. Just press the tilt button to engage the total lift bed upright positioning mode. If nothing happens, the bed may be locked. To unlock the bed, press these two buttons at the same time until you hear two beeps. You'll notice that the foot lifter will move in to gently meet the patient's feet. It stops once it senses the weight entered in during the scale calibration process. It's important to supervise this process. When tilting the patient, you can always manually minimize or eliminate pressure from the footboard. Simply press this red button located on the patient weigh scale, which stops the foot lifter from coming in further. The total lift bed comes with an inclemonitor on the right side of the bed. It is a tool that indicates the angle degree of the bed. Ensure the inclinometer is switched on to measure the bed angle. Once the foot lifter stops, the bed will begin to tilt in a smooth and progressive motion. This gradually and gently moves the patient into a full standing and weight-bearing position. This helps the patient smoothly progress to sitting, standing, and out-of-bed activities. It is also important to note that the key advantage of progressive tilting is that it helps the patient get into a standing or weight-bearing position, but it doesn't have to happen all at once. For example, if a patient can only tolerate 30 degrees of tilt, they can still benefit from partial weight-bearing and partial upright posture until they are ready to progress to a more upright position. The Total Lift Bed also has handy in-bed chair position functions with some unique features. This is especially helpful in orienting the patient to a more upright position, with legs down, between standing episodes. We'll start our demonstration in a flat position. 
Press the chair button, shown here, and the total lift bed automatically adjusts to give the patient a comfortable reclined sitting position. What's unique about the total lift bed is that even while the patient is in the in-bed chair position, the caregiver can use the foot lifter feature to adjust for proper foot support and weight bearing in sitting. This position allows for more upright posture in between therapy sessions, and use of the foot lifter provides more weight bearing between therapy sessions also. If you need to move the foot lifter in more, do so by pushing the foot lifter in button, shown here. This can be particularly useful when moving to a sitting position, if the patient feels like they are slipping as the head of the bed is elevated. To move the footboard out, push both the footboard in and chair mode buttons together at the same time, as shown here. As with all total lift bed functions, Two beeps will signify the end of the motion. If you want to place a patient from the chair to a standing position after unlocking the tilt function, all you need to do is press the tilt button. The total lift bed will first flatten, then go into the upright standing position. Please note, you cannot place the bed into the chair configuration directly from the upright standing position. The bed needs to flatten first, then go into the new position. To move the patient into the Trendelenburg position for selected care procedures, push the blue button on the hand pendant, shown here. If nothing happens, check that the bed is unlocked by pressing buttons 11 and 12 together until you hear two beeps. The bed will move into a horizontal position first, then into Trendelenburg. If a greater angle is needed while in the Trendelenburg position, press the Legs Up button to raise the legs further and increase the hemodynamic effects. Press the Casters button to lower them. Always make sure you listen for two beeps when raising and lowering the casters to confirm the action is complete before proceeding to other functions. Press the CPR or the Raise Bed Height button to disengage the casters and place the bed on its feet. The casters will disengage so the bed can remain in a stationary position. Those are the controls of the wired hand pendant, a handy and convenient feature of the total lift bed. We hope you found this demonstration helpful and that you now see how easy and intuitive it is to use all the total lift bed controls and functions. For complete instructions, please refer to the Total Lift Bed Instruction Manual.